Oftentimes we go into neighborhoods and nobody sees a thing. Everybody saw this. A teenager <laughs> shot in the head and the trigger man calmly walks away. It would be great if Catherine Hawley shows you the picture. You get in touch with police. We have an arrest by the end of this newscast. Let's see it work. Catherine? Jamie, to most people, he's number 340, just another digit as the city's casualty count inches towards the highest number of murders ever. Surveillance video released today from outside an East Baltimore convenience store shows the final moments of an 18 year old's life. Baltimore police hope the chilling images make people speak up. It's been nearly 48 hours since 18 year old Rikey Shaw was murdered. Balloons mark the spot along Greenmount Avenue, but it was this surveillance camera that caught the killer in the act. It was bold and brazen. And Baltimore City Police say this wasn't a random shooting. On the video, you see the two suspects pull up in separate cars and then walk inside the building. When Shaw and a friend show up, the pair walks outside and the trigger man shoots Shaw once in the head, killing him. It all goes down in a matter of minutes. And investigators don't think this is the first time he's taken a life. We saw a murderer do that murder on video and walk away as if nothing happened. We're asking the public for help to call in to get that murderer off the street. Police say they don't have a motive, but they're begging for help. There were witnesses Monday morning who saw the shooting. And while officers know there is fear on the streets, knowing this man can kill so easily should push people to act and help lock him up. If you know him, you know him. You've seen him. He's capable of doing this again, and with your help, we can take him off the street. Because this is what's going to make Baltimore safer, that these bad guys realize that they can't operate in anonymity. Police are looking for the suspects as well as the cars they pulled up in. One is a blue or gray light colored sedan that officers think is an Acura, and the other appears to be a white minivan. If you know anything about this murder, call Baltimore City Homicide Detectives. Catherine Hawley, ABC2 News.